All right, the tuber goober. He's calling me a tuber goober. What's up with that, man? Morgan's already giving me crap. I just got down here. Decided a last minute trip. We're gonna do a charter tomorrow with Monty Hawkins and the Morning Star. Pretty excited because I did this two years ago with Brooks and all the footage got wiped. I lost the drive, all the footage got wiped. I was super, I mean, I was actually very upset. Very upset because we caught our both of our personal P, our PBs, Tog. He got a 24, I got a 22, and yeah. But the fish are biting. Whoa. So we're gonna get after it, man. Catch fish, not feelings. Represent, represent. Catch swag. fish, not feelings. You Guys, know. you know, check out the new merch, sr-merch.com. sr-merch.com. Go check it out, support us, and thank you very much tomorrow. That's what all the magic's gonna happen. Better, better. I said, Morgan, should I lock my car? He goes, I don't know, if we can see it, you should be fine. That's not real positive, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>Good morning, everyone. We're gonna get out on the Morning Star this morning. So we're going out with Captain Monty here, and this is gonna be a great time. We'll take you along the boat here in just a second. Look at here. Good morning. Hey, dude. Mr. Good? Sam. Yes. Glad we got him up. We weren't sure if we were gonna get him up this morning, but he's up, moving around, and we're good to go. Hey, last time we were on this trip, you guys didn't get to see the footage. Iman, my man. Yeah, that's the video. It went Gerblump. That's right, well, done. all done, but hey, I'm gonna link you his Facebook. You gotta check out some of his stuff, it's pretty cool. My man gets out and gets after it. All right guys, so here's what we're fishing with today. Um, we couldn't find these the last couple times we've been in Ocean City, but white langers, white crabs. That's what a white crab looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and cut basically all the claws off of these, cut them in half and use a half crab. Doesn't, it looks big, it's not that big. And that's what we're doing, just cutting them up. Cutting them into half inch chunks, just like that. You can pull the shell off if you want. Sometimes they bite better with the shell on, shell off. Feed them through the legs, feed your hook through one leg socket, out the other. Now I'm using my uh, Nexus rod, my white Nexus, with my Daiwa Lexan raw reel. Sweet. All right, guys, so this is first mate today, Brian, man. He's going to show us here how to do, what do you call your rig? What do you call that? It's a slim beauty. Slim beauty. Bottom sweepers, like, I mean, I'll explain it later, bro. Make you, figure, make you figure eight. Go in one loop. Go out the other of your figure eight that you make with your leader. Give yourself enough tag in to work with. Tighten down your figure eight on your leader. Make yourself a loop. Give yourself enough tag to wrap. You want to wrap six to eight times. So it's the back end of a uni. Basically, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That down. Pull them together. Nice. So you just put that mojo on there, let it slide, and then you tie it off to how you want. Yeah, you do it like a double overhand knot. Right. So that it doesn't move. I saw, okay. And it, you really want to get it as close to the sinker as you can. That way the hooks are below your sinker. Um, the biggest thing is being able to get your sinker back off if you need to change. So you want to leave just enough room to do so, you know. Okay. We're out here, it, it, for us, it's a little easier if we can just give a, a client a sinker and tell them to take it off, yeah. then have to sit there and recop. For sure. Still a little brisk this morning, but love the crystal blue water, man. I love when you get offshore like this. We're probably like eight miles, nine miles offshore right now. The water is so clear. I just want to drink it. Drink it up. All right, guys, on Monty's boat, every trip they take blocks out as part of the Ocean City Reef Foundation and drop these blocks down on a designated reef spot. So go check out that Ocean City Reef Foundation page. It's such a cool thing, and I'll put the link up here in just a second, but these are the blocks going out today. And uh, guys, you can check out that right here. You'll see it scrolling through the screen. You also, if you uh, do donations, you get map coordinates to a lot of these reefs out here off Ocean City. And we've used those over and over again. You've seen us catch triggerfish, tog, everything on those. Great little resource for a donation to a great cause. All right, Morgan's gonna do the block Ready. drop today. Already. Not yet. Pull-ups and push-ups come in the hand. Push. 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 
go, boy. All clear. He got it on the third try. Way to go. <laughs> no, I don't it, was a, it was a pendulum. <laughs> Clearly, Captain Monty hasn't heard about the spot lock and the Tarova. Now they're making a 152 inch Tarova that they could drop down here on the bow of this bad boy. Anchors, come on. These anchors anymore. I'm guessing we're about 10, 11 miles offshore. You can still see Ocean City a little bit behind us. So 10, 10, 12 miles, something like that. First fish on. Get him up, James, get him up. That's a nice one right there. Morgan's on down there. She got Morgan. Matt. Measurement on how long it is? Big the board right there. Slow down just a little, just so you don't blow them. Blow them out. Blow them out. Once they're out of that structure, you okay. take the time. Yes. Yep. Starting off with monsters, y'all. Starting off with monsters. <laughs> all right. So most of our fish today, pretty much, we're probably gonna throw them all back and release them, but tagging them. You've seen us do it before. Same tags. There we go. Sweet. First fish. Thanks, dude. There you go. I can't even tell with that rod, it's so stiff. Tell with that rod. Well, you're in the right spot. Right? You're in the right spot. That's a nice one. Nice little female. Good boy, Sam.
think that gives me a decent little lead. Over. So Brian, let me borrow this two and a half ounce like. That's right. Stick chrome, baby. I'm going chrome. Break up with chrome rims. Pay yourself. It's not like a welcome to Ocean Fishing. That's a small that's a tater color. It's a tater color. You cut those big, big nails early. That was it. That goes on. That's good. Yeah. Another one, don't you? I'm getting more snakes. That's what it's like when I do. Right, see? Yeah. Switch it up. See if it was on the green crab or the Eight ounce weight probably could get away with like a five. Be perfectly you want to use five? Heavy. I might change it out here in a second, but I've already got some bites. You saw the fish. A little more active with the drop. The bottom rig right now. Watching the dolphins, man. That's the key. I just learned something new about Sam. Check this out. This is wild. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Watch your <laughs> How do you do that, dude? Go ahead. Do it. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, not, not, not out of, like, spite, though. No way. Oh, he's got it, like, backwards. <laughs> that's weird, y'all. Comment below if that's messed up, man. You hit that like button. You smash that like button for that right there. All right, we're gonna decide this right now. You saw the thumbnail. It was Morgan versus me. Trip won on the Morning Star. I'm not sure who won. You guys have to comment below. I caught more, I caught more fish, but Morgan caught the biggest fish. I don't know, we'll leave it up to the viewers. You guys comment, let me know who won this round, and we'll come back out on Monty's boat again and do this again, round two. Thank you to Monty. Awesome job once again. Right? Stay on the water beats any day not on the water. And with friends, new friends, everybody. Weird Weird. Sam just gets weirder by the day. But that's alright. Awesome. awesome time. Awesome time.